once a cheater, always a cheater? Serial infidelity across subsequent relationships. The researchers found that those who were unfaithful in one relationship had three times the odds of being unfaithful in the next relationship, compared to those who had not been unfaithful in the first one. Here, I'll be sharing with you the top 10 foreign films based on a wife's infidelity. But before that, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any of the crazy movie lists. Number 1. Brothers Siblings, Sam, played by Tobey Maguire, and Tommy Cahill, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, are as far apart as brothers can be. While Sam serves his country as a Marine, Tommy is a drifter who just got out of prison. When Sam is shot down and presumed dead in Afghanistan, Tommy vows to take care of Sam's wife, Grace, played by Natalie Portman, and his children. Tommy and Grace become close, and when Sam unexpectedly returns home, the consequences of their actions threaten the foundation of the entire family. Number 2. Enemy Enemy is a 2013 Canadian psychological drama film directed by Denis Villeneuve and produced by M.A. Farah and Neve Fitchman. Directed by Javier Goulan, it was loosely adapted from Jose Saramago's 2002 novel The Double. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal in a dual role as two men who are physically identical, but different in personality. Melanie Laurent, Sarah Gadden, and Isabella Rossellini co-star. It is an international co-production of companies from Spain and Canada. Number 3. Unfaithful Described by director Adrian Lin, Fatal Attraction as an erotic thriller about the body language of guilt. When Edward, played by Richard Gere, innocently learns that his wife Connie, played by Diane Lane, has lied to him about an affair, suspicion propels him to uncover the devastating details of her infidelity. Tormented by the knowledge, he confronts her lover, only to discover a level of rage within himself that he could never have imagined. Number 4. Chloe Chloe is a 2009 erotic thriller film directed by Adam Egoyan, a remake of the 2003 French film Natalie. It stars Julianne Moore, Liam Neeson, and Amanda Seyfried in the titular role. Its screenplay was written by Aaron Cressida Wilson, based on the earlier French film written by Anne Fontaine. Despite receiving mixed reviews from critics, the film was a commercial success and it grossed more at the worldwide box office than any of Egoyan's previous films. Number 5. Zipper Patrick Wilson has made a career out of playing character whose wholesome, all-American good looks cover up deep moral conflict, from early films like Hard Candy and Little Children to more recent efforts like Space Station 76 and Home Sweet Hell. He excels at it. He seems comfortable with the kinds of uncomfortable contradictions these roles provide. Number 6. American Psycho In New York City in 1987, a handsome, young urban professional, Patrick Bateman, played by Christian Bale, lives a second life as a gruesome serial killer by night. The cast is filled with the detective, played by Willem Dafoe, the fiancé, played by Reese Witherspoon, the mistress, played by Samantha Mathis, the co-worker, played by Jared Leto, and the secretary, played by Chloe Sevigny. This is a biting, wry comedy examining the elements that make a man a monster. Number 7. The Girl on the Train Commuter Rachel Watson, played by Emily Blunt, catches daily glimpses of a seemingly perfect couple, Scott and Morgan, from the window of her train. One day, Watson witnesses something shocking unfold in the backyard of the stranger's home. Rachel tells the authorities what she thinks she saw after learning that Morgan is now missing and feared dead. Unable to trust her own memory, the troubled woman begins her own investigation, while police suspect that Rachel may have crossed a dangerous line. Number 8. Gone Girl In Carthage, Missouri, former New York-based writer Nick Dune, played by Ben Affleck, and his glamorous wife Amy, played by Rosamund Pike, present a portrait of a blissful marriage to the public. However, when Amy goes missing on the couple's fifth wedding anniversary, Nick becomes the prime suspect in her disappearance. The resulting police pressure and media frenzy caused the Dune's image of a happy union to crumble leading to tantalizing questions about who Nick and Amy truly are. Number 9. Indecent Proposal David, played by Woody Harrelson, and Diana Murphy, played by Demi Moore, are a loving couple with a bright future. 
David is a talented architect, Diana is a top-notch real estate agent. But when the recession hits, their finances take a nosedive. In a last-ditch effort to save their dream home, they head to Las Vegas to win their mortgage money gambling. After they lose everything, a mysterious billionaire, played by Robert Redford, offers the solution to their money problems. One million dollars, if he can sleep with Diana. Number 10. Nymphomaniac Volume 2 The continuation of Joe's sexually dictated life delves into the darker aspects of her adulthood, obsessions, and what led to her being in Seligman's care. Joe continues to tell Seligman the story of her life. Joe lives with Jerome and their son Marcel, and out of the blue, she loses sexual sensation in intercourse. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll like the video. For more such amazing videos, hit that like button and subscribe to Black Slate Studios. Also, comment down on your favorite movie.